Hi everybody, Flash Razzman here with another Indie Games Collective Showcase. Today we are looking at The Captain, which was released on the 3rd of December last year. So what is it about? In this, let's read from Steam. In this retro-inspired adventure game, you will have to race back across the galaxy, collect new friends on your journey, make new enemies, you won't, ha you won't be able to save everyone. Who will you leave behind? Will which civilizations will you save or destroy along the way? Interesting. Let's play the story. I've not looked at this at all. First off, before I go anywhere further, thanks to the devs for providing the collector with the key so we can play and show you guys everything. As I was saying, I've not not looked at it at all. I've literally booted this up, checked the volume to make sure it's not too loud. The background music. This background music, I've muted it because copyright strikes and all that kind of jazz. All right, let's, uh, new user. Uh, enter my name. Okay. Like I said, I've not looked at it at all. I've not looked, I've avoided any kind of coverage, so I've got no idea what to expect. Let's just see if it flashed off. There's a limit on characters. That'll do. So hopefully there's no narrative because I've muted everything. Okay. In the year 2255, space is finally conquered by humans as trans warp technology makes it possible to reach distant stars. Okay. In the centuries to come, humans discover that they are not alone in the universe. Okay. Earth reaches out and a collaborative space fleet between the neighbouring systems is founded. Like Starfleet then, basically. An age of peace and prosperity follows and the space fleet thrives, you know, and as its, as its foundation. But all is not well in the galaxy. Far from Earth and space fleet borders, dark plans are taking shape. Space Fleet and the Union. Okay. A distant organisation known as the Union feels threatened by the rapid expansion of Space Fleet. And in April, the, April the year 3383, they declare war. Soon thereafter, Space Fleet learns that the Union has launched its entire fleet towards Earth. Together with the fleet, they are bringing an, an, an entirely new weapon. The Sun Blaster. Designed to kill stars, it could end all life on Earth and in the blink of an eye. Deep in the Utah desert, a new technology is secretly being developed. The energy is swapped to Electropulse U Station, or simply Oedipus. Used at the right moment, Oedipus could disable the entire enemy armada and ensure an immediate and complete victory for Space Fleet. To work, Ed Oedipus needs to be charged by an extremely sophisticated and powerful fuel cell. One of these fuel, fuel cells takes years to craft and prepare. For safety and security reasons, they are only developed at the distant and secret deep space station Epsilon. A plan is formed to use the Epsilon station's experimental space fold technology to transport all three existing fuel cells back to Earth. On Earth, Captain Thomas T. Weller, well, Wellmer, is enjoying a vacation with his family. <clears throat> As a space fleet scientist specialising in space for technology, he's asked to participate in the transport mission of the fuel cells. Mission day, the elite of the space fleet science is present orbiting Earth. Captain Wellmer is tasked with analysing the subspace and only get as a crucial space for transport takes place. At first, the transport seems to go as planned, but suddenly a flash of light Okay, that doesn't look good. Okay. If you need to repair your ship there after a battle, you can drop by a trade station. Okay. Um, hopefully it'll tell us what just happened. Starting up. Um... What what happened? Yeah, exactly. I asked that question myself, mate. Ship, ouch, my head. Sh ship, respond. Great, no power. A ship, a power spike must have released the residual current circuit breaker again. Jeff, Jeff, do you hear me? Urban, um, guess not. I'll have to get back there and reset the main fuse. That main fuse. And why the hell am I so hungry? Leave the cockpit. 
Use this button to highlight things you can interact with. Okay. So. Okay. Oh, nope. Uh, okay, so how do I get out of that then? Okay, what do I do now? Nope, that's not what I want to do. Oh, okay, so. Main computer. Okay, so. Leave the cockpit. Uh, look around. Drag the game view in the pan. Well, okay, so, okay. Can you talk with anything? This is a class G. This is a class G security door. Stand clear and closing. This will not work. That power. Uh, crowbar. In this introduction, we are you are guided to your next objective by sparkling dot. Okay. Grab said crowbar. Now what? Uh, secure droid panel. Okay, so we've got to go here. Okay. Open. Repair access. You currently don't have the latest service droid updated installed. Please can't. Okay. Open. Uh, lab door. Okay, uh, open, elevator. Okay, so now I'm assuming we're now gonna use a crowbar, drag, use a crowbar, drag the item outside your entries window and hover over the point of interest to use it. Okay. What, like what, uh, Lab door, oh, hang on, upwards, okay, so, no way this crowbar can help get this door open, okay. So, wow, the crowbar, that crowbar broke, the crowbar broke, okay. Hmm, it did get the job done. Okay, let's get this aging body up this elevator shaft. Okay. Okay, now what? Droid workstation. It's a workstation made solely for droids. Okay. Okay. Solely for droids. Okay, so let's go over here then. Let's look at that then. Server rack. This is the brain of the ship. Okay. All the data collected during missions is stored here. Okay. That's why it's hooked up to the emergency battery. Okay. Server rack. So let's go over here. Bio chair. Look at the bio chair. It's the latest space technology in the field of artificial bio connections. Okay. This machine can connect itself directly to the subject's brain and interact fast with it extremely fast, okay? I don't really know why they installed one in my ship. It's just been released and is is still considered to be somewhat experimental. To be honest, I hope I never have to use it. <laughs> okay. Uh, what are you, uh, Arcade? Uh, vintage Collection Edition Cabinet Floatball 3000. I love this game and I love the Space Fleet Command. Let me install it. The simplicity of its design never gets old. Let's have a look at the circuit breaker. So, the circuit breaker for the ship's internal power grid. Okay, so let's pull it. We now have power. 
startup initiated. Recollecting memory file standby. Are you okay there, Shippy? Uh, good morning, Ship. I must have dozed off. How odd. No, you didn't doze off. We had an accident. Accident? Are you okay, Captain? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm sorry to have to ask, but what happened? Why am I sorry? Oh, that's, I don't know, really. We're about to witness a transport mission complete when we... Well, I must have fainted because I don't remember anything else. But your internal power grid shut down, so I had to do a manual reset. Last thing my sense detected was the frequency variation build up from the jump gate. Did we get the fuel cells? I don't know yet. Strange, all my systems seem to be down. I need to do a system by system restart. This may take some time. I really need Jeff now. He could do a re he could help me do a, rec a recal recalibration of my of the mainframe. Sure, I haven't seen him yet though. Do you know where he is? I'm afraid not. My internal scanner system is non-operational. Try to contact contact directly. Try to contact Jeff directly with your bracelet. I will do that. The bracelet is a communication device around your wrist. Use it to stay in contact with your ship and your crew for input and ideas. Okay. Uh, Jeff. Captain, just a robot looks of it. Jeff, where where are you? What is happening? I'm trapped inside the shuttle bay. With the shut with shuttle. No, uh, what who what was that? Is that you, shuttle? I don't believe this. Jeff, listen to me. Tell me exactly what he is doing. He keeps turning off the lights in here. And continues to sound the hull breach alarm. Ah, what's that? Please, Captain, get me out of here. Shuttle, stop it. Please tell Shuttle to turn the lights. Turn on the lights. Just wait there, little friend. Okay. Seem to be stuck in the shuttle bay. Find out. Find him and help him. Okay. Let's get to the elevator and get to the shuttle bay. Uh, engineering. LVP. See what that is. Door. Look at the door. This is a door to the landing vehicle pod or LPV shuttle bay, basically. I call it, I call it shuttle, short and simple. Door. Open the door. Hey shuttle, could you open the door, please? Is that you, Cap? Yes, shuttle. It's me. You to see your superior officer. Ha, superior. The door might. What door might you be referring to? If I may be so bold. The door to you, Shuttle. You have locked it from the inside. Just open it, will you? Don't act stupid now. Well, in my case, it's an act. It's not. It's an act, at least. Ha! <laughs> Shuttle, open. Easy there, Tiger. I'm working on it. I'm sure my hydraulics were acting, were acting up again. Well, it's about time to get rid of this little intruder in here anyway. But for future knowledge, I don't like your minions snooping around all over my bay, Cap. Cap, your bay. Just open the door and let Jeff out. <coughs> open Sesame. Oh, Captain, thank you. Shuttle wouldn't let me out. Well, he's, he is a bit different. You should discipline him, Captain. I really got intimidated in there. Well, to be honest, Jeff, even though that he shouldn't be teasing the crew, you're still a member of Space Fleet. Therefore, one could expect you to... Mm, how should I put this? Well... Not be afraid of the dark. I'm not afraid of the dark, I'm afraid of what's in it. Oh, but okay, okay, buddy, I'll talk to Shuttle later. I will try to be stronger in the future. That's good. Now wipe off that hydraulic oil leakage and be proud of surviving yet another visit to the Shuttle Bay. I overheard the ship is having problems with some of the systems. Yeah, we seem to have had an incident with the transport. We should get the ship back in shape before anything else. Okay. I'll need to get back to my workstation. Okay, I'll come with you. Okay. Now let's see. Checking systems. Um it looks like we have short circuit in the I have a short circuit in the lab. 
but what will ha but that will have to wait for now. I have to stay here and re refresh a calibre. I have to stay here and finish recalibrating the ship. I can't tell okay, to have a like lab problem. Okay, that would be great, Captain. But I guess the daughter lab isn't work isn't working. I'll just unlock the hatch for the maintenance tunnel to the maintenance tunnels for you. Hatch, I've got to go over it over. Okay. Thanks. No problem. I've sent the detail I've sent the details to your info pad. The info pad is a tablet used by Space Week personnel for keeping current okay. Right so Jeff just so right, okay. Fix your short circuit, countdown to attack, two years one day. Ship status space with the union, Jeff units. Okay, lots of information here which I'm not gonna read. Info. Okay, uh Ship status, Space Fleet, the Union, Epsilon Space Station, Dromium, Star Frequency, Jeff Unit, okay. So I'm assuming we've got this actually, put this actually just into it, there we are. Okay, in the hatch we go. Now where? Uh, this way. Should follow the shiny up. Hatch this space lab. Okay. Uh, there we are now. So I'm going to go here. Door. Okay, I think I found the problem to the door conundrum. There are some disconnected cables beyond the panel. This should be an easy fix. There. Like making toast. The door should work now. Good job, Captain. The ship is in good good condition again. Captain? Yes, ship. I've just finished analysing our surroundings and I've got some really strange readings here. Could you please come to the cockpit right away? Of course, I'm on my way. Door. Saving. Right. Up the elevator. No, 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 no. I'm going to go this way, don't we? To the cockpit straight. Command chair. Ship report, Captain. With the res with the with reservation that my senses might have gone completely off the rail, something unexpected has occurred. Tell me. We are no longer orbiting Earth. What? We're not even in the right sector. What do you mean? Where are we? My senses tell me that we are currently in the outer regions. The outer regions. You mean where the transport originated from? even further away. Somehow, we must have entered the gateway as a transport took place. How is this even possible? Unclear. There must have been a vortex anomaly along the DEC2 aligners or something uncalibrated. Captain, what is it, ship? I'm detecting a massive energy buildup from the wormhole. If you want to try and return through it, we should go through as soon as possible. Uh, let's go through it right now. Yes, let's go through it right now. I'm programmed to warn you, but this uh, this is a normal procedure, and there's no evidence that this will work. Understood. Take us in. Okay. What happened? The wormhole disappeared. We were too slow. What? Damn. Any signs of it reappearing? None. It's as if it was never there. And that is not all. The transport mission failed. None of the three fuel cells managed to reach Earth. How do we know that? My short-range sensors can detect all three of them scattered around this sector. Oh my god. Earth defence requires at a minimum one of those cells to stop the sun blaster. Looks like we're out of options here. We need to grab at least one fuel cell ourselves and rush back to Earth before it's too late. Show me where, show me where your sensors picked up the, the, up the lost fuel cells. Yes sir, stand by. The fuel cells are located on these three planetary bodies. Desert planet, Soma, and the Quian crystal. I believe our transport mission just got updated to a salvage expedition. 
because I took and the idea is how to proceed. We are actually not that far from the space station Epsilon. Transport station that tried to send the fuels back to yep. Yes, the very same. It's located over there. Okay. One logical action would be to investigate what went wrong during the transport mission. Okay. Uh, tell me about the Eps tell me about Eps the space station. Tell me again about the space station. It's located here. Okay. One logical would be to investigate. Okay. Uh, Is there anything else I could do? I've calculated all known variables. I can't say help. Space is allies not already involved in the conflict. Perhaps I could pick up some technology and people ready to help on the way home. There's not enough evidence to support that random visits to surrounding civilizations will be helpful. Hope has little to do with evidence ship. Okay, I've marked all known civilizations on the map for you. Thank you. Okay. All right. Uh, I don't care, I know what I want to do. Good to hear, sir. Let's get going. Starting up. You have reached a new ending. Starting up. So it begins. Knowing what weapon to use on the on the enemy is a key to be a success in battle. Okay. Captain. Yes. I've detected an emergency signal for one of the planets where the fuel cell was located. Really? I should guess I should check that out. Actually, you you have to check that out. According to space regulations, emergency signals should always be treated, always be investigated immediately. Yes, I know that ship. Show me on the map, please. Desert planets. We're there. Okay, thank you. Captain. Yes, Jeff. I finished my activating the ship now. All systems should be in working condition. Great, thank you. Uh, now what? Main computer. Captain. Yes, ship. I'm just scanning through the, my internal log. It doesn't look like you have tried out the battle simulator yet. No, I haven't. I'm a scientist, not a warrior. I just want to remind you of your current situation. We are in the outer regions. There are lots of dangerous groups out that wouldn't think twice about hurting you. The battle simulator might have been installed as a preparation for the war, but it could, but it, but could just as well be used as a precaution for any hostile environment. I'll guide you, if, guide you through it if you want. Yes, yes, yes. That would something I should, like something I should do. Simulation. This is a battle simulation. Here you can try out equipment, new tactics without affecting anything in reality. I know it looks it looks like I'll start that again. I know it looks real, but everything is simulated, just pixels and code. Let's attack that simulated enemy ship. Click on the click on the attack icon close to the enemy ship and choose lasers. Shoots a burst of high energy laser shots at one or more targets. Shots five damage. Okay. Cost twenty energy. Activated during phase three. Prepare to use. Well done. Now it's just now let's now let's just end our round. Click done. I forgot we forgot to defend against enemy fire. I took a bit of damage that you can see represent held the health bar. But okay, that's down there. Okay, a bit daft of you, wasn't it? The damage also increased my eternal stress level stated on the lower bar. Okay. If the health reaches zero or stress level reaches hundred, I will not stay assembled anymore. <laughs> I could basically will blow up. Okay, let's defend this time. My energy shield should be able to protect against that laser fire. Click on the, the laser shield, okay. Rats. We don't have enough energy to activate the shields. You now have to the option of reducing the shield absorption level and that way lower its energy energy level. 
Let's do something else instead. First, just fix exit the shield setup. Okay, how do I do that then? Exit, okay. You can see on the energy meter that we didn't have enough energy for the shields. Okay. This bar shows our current energy amount, which is a lot. This number tells us how much energy we have left to spend this round. 10, okay. These are not the same at the moment because your laser action is still active from the last round. You have a couple of options now. You could remove the attack option and get more of it energy avail more available energy that way or you could use one of Jeff's special abilities let's do the latter click on the image of Jeff <coughs> oh, excuse me Jeff has the ability called more energy the icon in the top left corner indicates that we can only use this a limited number of times however you don't have to worry about that now they simply say it never use up real resources from you Click on the card called more called more energy. Good job, Captain. Now we have more energy available. It should be enough to both attack and defend this time, so I'll leave you now so you can get to fight only your own for a bit. Remember that battle simulator of all also can be used to try out new equipment and strategies in a safe way. It can be initiated at any time from the own computer screen. Good luck. So I defend with my laser shield. Prepare to use done okay okay so now what hang on so uh, what so hang on uh, so now what do I do do we click done more energy more energy okay so let's attack again <laughs> down to five so now what do I do more energy more energy infinite uses okay more energy. Uh, warning: This card will not will not use. This card will not use all of its system strength right now. Do you, uh, no, I don't. Max, what do you do? Boost. Uh, done. I'm not sure what exactly I did then. Simulation over. Who is it? Will use a ship. Okay. Uh, exit. Star chart. Desert planet. Engage. Let's go. Destination set desert planet. Estimated arrival in 10 days. Okay. <laughs> That's so we'll wait for ten days. Oh, we just click through it. So I'm on the way there. So we're here. Do 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 do. Captain. A weak distress signal is detected from the planet's surface. Yes. We have arrived at the planet which the distress signal orig originated. Distress got it. Okay. Now what? I pinpointed the correct landing uh, location for both the signal transmission and the fuel cell location. Okay, thanks. So, fuel cell, origin of the signal. Let's go for the land. Let's go for the signal first. Okay, ship. Prepare for the shuttle at the shuttle for landing. I'm going to down to check on that signal. Aye, aye, Captain. Each end of... Oh, hang on. Okay. Okay. Considering the graphics are very 2D and pixelated, this is a very, very ab absorbing game. Landing complete, another per the one filled up under P for perfect. 
Really, it sounded like something like something broke. Not without a hitch, smooth sailing all the way. I, I don't know, Shuttle. I'm sure pretty sure I heard a loud bang. A bang? Ha, not for me, you didn't. Is that power coupling on the ground? Is that, is that the power coupling on the ground? What, where? Oh, that, you can see that, you can see that far. <laughs> I, do, I do like Shuttle. Of course I can see that far, it's right there on the ground. Uh, I'm just trying to give you a relevant information you can you can actually use. I'm pretty. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's certain this is this is relevant information that I can actually use. I'm doing the best I can. So the park upping outside the window was the bang I heard. Yep. Oh great! Report there, shuttle. I guess we ain't getting off this planet until we get it fixed. Head on the nail there, sir. Bit get out. Start looking for a solution. Are you still getting this emer that emergency signal? Yes. It's put weak though. Uh, a thousand year man. Okay, so what do we do now then? Do we go over here or what? Lock door. Look at the door there. It's a titanium door. It doesn't seem to be powered. I could see some sort of freezer and a lot of boxes inside. It's, it's a titanium door. Powered door, okay. Let's try opening it. There doesn't seem to be power enough power enough powered enough. Uh plug board. It's a regulator uh, old style plug board for power cables. Ladder. Retractable ladder. Ladder. Uh, somehow I cannot reach the position. Right, uh, wall socket. And this panel seems to be missing a cable. Low power. Power button. Tower ladder. Door. Okay. Low power. Okay. Uh, Hang on, uh, what do we now? Hang on a second. Plug board. Uh, okay, so I've just dis have I just disconnected something here or what? Okay. Okay. Sun solar. So how do I get that? How do I reconnect this then? Okay, so I've unplugged that, which doesn't help at all. Oh, power cable, there we are. Wall socket. How do I, right, how do I get that socket into there then? Right, so where does that power cable go? Hang on. Ah, uh, right, okay, so. Like a second, right, right, hang on. So try that again, I'm not sure I'm doing it here. Right, so this might work, but I should take a closer look first see what I'm doing. Oh right, okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. So I go there. And I get another one, I'm gonna go there. Okay. Ah, now, haha! -ha. Up the ladder we go. Fix that. Down the ladder we go. 
power not set by itself, okay? To try it up with. Uh, I know. Down the ladder. Up the ladder. Down the ladder, over to there, unplug that, take that, drag it out of there, whack it in there, open the door, go to the door, open the door, and we're in. Meat freezer, drawer. Chip servo, chip servo, note, read the note. My name is Glessius. I was a junior engineer on the former space, space fleet cargo vessel uh, Bulkidus when it suddenly crashed. I managed to escape, but I fear my commies may have met their doom. It's been two months now. My supplies are gone. My supplies are all gone. I have modified a meat freezer to work as a cryo chamber. I'll use it to wait for the rescue team. It shouldn't take long now. I miss my loved ones. The thought of sleeping, seeing you again, is what keeps me alive. It's been more than 50... If more than 50 years have passed, please don't bother to wake me up. Okay. How do we know? Computer. Read about... Uh, I've read about these computers in school. They were based on old meth structures. Wouldn't be surprising me if I could sell this machine and collect for back a bit of cash. Meat freezer message zero foot zero. Because there was a message there was a message on that no it says zero four two if I remember. Log in. Uh, uh, messages. A long time I heard you are cargo born on the corn. Since hearing about the attack on your ship through its go, I have been devastated. But now I tell you, but now they tell me that the log recorded your escape and discussion in a pod. That's such good news. If you get this, but you can't respond, just know you are. We are coming to get you. I don't know if I if you get this, but I'll try again. I know I heard about the accident and that's and how you got lost and how I just volunteered to assist in the search for you. So nothing can stop us finding you from now. Uh, from now, finding you. See you soon. They couldn't locate the destination of your pod after weeks of probing. They still can't explain where you went. I'm sure you are still out there. I can feel it. Don't give up, love. Never give up. From jo uh, for John. John here. Mum couldn't write what I'm about to about to, so here it goes. They gave up the search for you yesterday. You are officially dead, Dad. I miss you. This reminds me of an old time the old times you were not getting a chance to respond to my rambles. Not knowing whether you are dead or alive at this moment is tearing me apart. Sixties once now feels like a lifetime. I have to move on and I need to focus on what's here. I am sorry, I am so sorry. Bye forever. This will be the last message I sent to you, Dad. It's been it's been seven years now since you went missing. Mum passed away this summer after some terrible years of illness. If you are there, uh, there I hope you are not in pain. Hi, man. Long time. I okay. Done. Freezer content. Uh, do we want to open it or not? Do we want to open it? I don't know. That's a good question. He said, uh, stop frozen. Do we want to open it or not? Been a thousand years. Do we want to open after a thousand years? Read that again. Let note again. 50 years have passed. Please don't bother to wait to wake me up. Do you know, do you know? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Meat freezer. Been a thousand years. Do we want to wake this guy up or not? 
clothes. Looks like the uniform space for engineer uniform. I don't know what to do. Must be an old version. I'm gonna wake it. I'm gonna wake him up. Uh, what time is it? I have I have I overslept. Chamber. My chamber you must be quite disorientated. Hold hold on, I remember now. My name is Glacius. I am a space fleet sergeant. Wait a minute. Are you space fleet? Yes, I'm Captain Thomas Well Wellmo. Oh. My escape crash by nice planet. What happened? I'm not sure. We're just hauling cargo to the Prestina system. And then out of nowhere something made the ship go completely haywire. People started to run for the escape pods. We were totally out of control when I got out, I remember. I couldn't see much from inside my pod. Now I'm not sure if anyone else made it though. You survived. You survived. Yeah, but I, could, I, st but I still need help. This planet is dead and dry and I can't get off it. And I've only have supplies for two months left. That's why I phrased myself in hope of getting rescued later. Are you here to save me? Uh, I need repairs. I like the sound of that. A shuttle shouldn't be that hard to fix. Just show me. Hey, but it's a small question. How long was I frozen? I came exactly... The I'm afraid you've been dead for under for almost a thousand years. What? It can't be correct. I need to check the computer. Log in. Check dates. A thousand years. Oh my god. My family. Melinda. John. Gone. I don't see the point anymore. Where is a damn pill? I can't. Did you take it? Uh, no. What pill do you mean? My self termination pill. One all. Like the one all space fleet personnel get. Wait a minute. Do they still issue those to space fleet personnel? They do, don't they? Give me yours. I'll give you mine, but you don't do something over eager now. Keep. Sorry, but I just can't do that. That's not their purpose. I'll give you mine, but don't do something over eager now. Okay. Oh, uh, are you okay? Freezer display. Someone has modified the freezer display to function as an EK monitor. Uh, he's dead. Draw. Hey, what's that? Flux decapitator. It's all type of flux deductor. It could fit the power coupling casing. We've done everything we can do here. Yes, yeah, let's, let's bust this joint. Fruit meat freezer. Meat freezer. Don't think it operate. The let's just get out of here. Okay. Did I pick that up? Hang on, let's go back in there. Actually, yeah, I didn't pick that up, did I? Take it. Out we go. Back over here. Do, 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 do. Power coupling. Uh, it's a power coupling. It will need several new parts to repair. Right now, if I go and uh, chip server casing, maintenance, hang on. It, uh, I must fix the power before I can leave, okay. 
maintenance hatch. It's not working. Uh, what do I do then? Uh, that's not going to work. Still missing some parts. Okay. Ah, uh, right. Then if I put that in. I'm confused. Ship, can you? Uh, nope. Shuttle. Shuttle speaking. I don't know if I should proceed. I just want to remind you, this escort will help us if we came here. Deep, uh, that and that handing out suits apples to teeth, typically pressed individuals, not space regulation. Thank you. Any other input? <coughs> you feel uh, you feel necessary to utter? Nope. Just patch me up and get me out. If you get me out. How though? How? Oh, like that. Cool. Okay, hang on. So. Ah, oh, right. It's join the dots together. What now? Cables, I wonder? Do we have to take some cables? The wall sockets. Take you. Back we go. Okay, and here. See if that does a trick now. Cool, we're fixed. That should fix it. We go up. Uh, thousand year man, you reached alone. You reached a new ending. The thousand year man. Suicide pill, lost a suicide pill. Oh dear, let's hope we don't need to commit suicide. After you found the first fuel cell and I've stored it in your special vault, you are free to use the rest as you see fit. Uh, main deck. Shut, no, I need to go back to shut. We need to go back there, don't we? Hang on. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to go to... Captain, what are you doing here? Landing coordinates, my I've got well, landing coordinates, have we? Okay. I wonder if there's a way I could have done that without having to go back to the ship and back up again. Okay, up there. In, go to the command chair. Desert planet, land. Okay, cool. Right. If you heard a cat meow, there's my cat behind me. She's taking a fancy to sit in my office chair. She's constantly harassing me to sit in my office chair. She's got to see faces sleeping in random locations. That was the wrong button. There we go. <coughs> okay. Okay, we've landed. We're here. Landing complete. Also, fuel detected. You found the fuel cell already. Don't don't sound surprised, Captain. You should by, know by now that I operate on a different level. So where is it? Just over there in the sand. Where? Okay, have we got it? Do we go up now? Uh, warning: You've not found any meaningful landing yet. Okay. No, I don't. There, okay, so go there, do a big, big rock. Can sand. Go from here. Steep hill. Steep and slippery. Down there. How do we get down then? Okay. Cappy, are you sure you can get back up again? That's a great good point. Don't worry, I'll find a way. 
I'm not worried. I am hopeful. <laughs> I should try to push it, push it aside. Few. That was heavy. You find a way back up. I think. So. Uh, I think so. Yippee. Let's cut this sarcasm in future missions. Big rock. Nothing more can use here. Climb friendly markings. Not as steep and slippery indeed. I'm going to be able to get back up this way. Oh, it's there. Fuel cell. Okay. Grab the fuel cell. Got it, get back, that was easy enough. I guess there's anything else what to do now. Is there though? No, there's not, let's just get back out of here then, let's go. Let's get the heck out of Dodge and get out of here. In the shuttle. And off we go. Just a fuel cell. Cargo. Different tray sessions have different prices for the same item. Okay, so now what? Welcome back, Captain. I can detect you've obtained one of the lost fuel cells. Congratulations. I strongly recommend you secure that cell right away. I agree. Uh, I'm assuming we've got into security then. Hang on. Is, it quarantine, is, is this the quarantine storage module online? Checking. No issues indicated. It's good to go. Great. Uh, just secure it on the insertion arm and I'll take care of the rest. Elevator. So, okay, we're good to go. So, okay, main deck. Orbiting Desert Planet, main computer, so Merchant Mac, so uh, Hostile Outer League Territory, Merchant Mac, that's where we started, Burke's Tradeverse, Merchant Mac, Merchant Mac, with high prices you can afford, we specialise in ship upgrade kits, but sell and buy pretty much any hardware you can get your hands on, trade information. Uh, my items to sell. Why do we haven't we've got three? Th so we've got money, energy capsule, ten in stock, star fragment. Okay. Back. I think we've been going about an hour, and I'm gonna leave it here. That's I thoroughly enjoyed that. When I when when I got the, when I saw on we have on our. When we were talking about the collective and I saw the graphics for this on our Trello board, I was a little bit unsure thinking 2D, pixelated graphics, but it's actually really, really absorbing. I thoroughly enjoyed that. Let me know what you think, because I'm absolutely thoroughly enjoying that. It's really, really good. Let me know if you want to carry it on, because that's great fun. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed that little uh, little in-game collective showcase, and if you want to see some more of this, let me know, because... I'm quite inclined to carry on playing this because I've had a great time. It's good, lovely. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. As ever, I shall see you in the next one. Thanks very much. Bye.